Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? Chuck here. I know it's been a long time. I missed you guys. So um, I've got a new video, but an old video <laughs> that I'm doing here. Um, if if any of you guys have checked out my other video videos, you'll notice that my views on all my other videos are like around fifty to maybe three or four hundred, something like that. So not not amazing, but that's okay. Um, but I have one video that has like 60,000 and growing uh, views. And it's amazing. And it's my very first or one of my very first traditional grip videos that I did way back when I first started my channel. And that's on traditional grip finger control using the thumb. So I thought in honor of that one video that I would do a reboot, a remake, a 2.0 version of it. Because um, when I first shot that video, I hadn't really gotten the quality worked out yet. I think the audio was kind of low. So I have just figured in honor of that video, since it's been so popular and it's helped so many people, that I would just do just a real brief redo of it uh, with a slightly better camera angle. Okay? So I'm going to keep this really short um, because the first video really has everything that you need, but I'm just going to go over the basics of it and keep this really hopefully short and concise, which is not a strong point of mine, but uh, hopefully I'll get lucky here. Okay. All right. So the thumb really is the grip when it comes to traditional grip. I mean, the rest of the fingers are, are really more supportive. The thumb is really where all the action is at. Okay, so when it comes to finger control specifically, I think the thumb technique or thumb control is the easiest one to ultimately learn. And that's what I recommend every person that's uh, trying to uh, improve their traditional grip. I think it's the one that you should naturally try first, mainly because the thumb is already in position and, you know, it's already over the stick. Okay, it's already where you need it to be. Okay, it's already over top of the stick. And so all you're going to be doing is moving from this joint, this big joint here. Okay, just like that. Okay, your wrist, of course, is like this. Okay. So the switch to... Thumb control, wrist, the thumb, okay? So again, your thumb is in contact with the stick here, okay? And you just, from here, from this hinge, you're just going to push down. Okay, I'll take my other fingers off the stick just pushing down like this. I'm going to try to do it slowly here. Okay, that's it. The other fingers really aren't doing anything, okay? Uh, if you want to keep the index finger over top of the stick, you can. If you want to make it where it's just sitting alongside of the stick, that's fine too. All right, the rest of the fingers are just, are just there to, to provide control. Um, but it's really the thumb doing all the work. Okay. Now I typically keep my index finger on top of the stick. It just really, it's there to, again, to provide control and just to keep the stick from rebounding too high. All right. But other than that, it's all thumb. Okay. And that's it. So right here. Now, another option that, that you can do is you can actually lay the thumb over top of the stick like this, okay, where the pad of your thumb is on top of the stick, and you can do the same thing. If you've ever watched any Scottish pipe drummers, they do exactly this. It's all thumb. Okay. All right, I don't do as much of that, um, but 
it's definitely an option and uh, you might find it more comfortable. But that is it. Okay. Just moving from right here. Okay. Up and down. Boom, 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 boom. All right. All right. Now, another thing that I thought I would add is what's a good benchmark, okay? So a good benchmark I would shoot for because really you can get to a point where you almost have too much chops, <laughs> okay? Um, but that's even possible. Now, again, granted, that's subjective. It depends on the style of music you're playing. But just a good general benchmark to shoot for is to be able to do 16th notes with either hand at around 100, maybe slightly higher, 104 maybe. Okay, if, if you can do 16th notes, okay, using your fingers at that speed, in my opinion, you have more than enough chops. As far as singles go, you have more than enough chops to play basically anything that you're going to want to play. Okay, so, you know, put it on 100 or 400, 104. Okay, so if you can do that. you can do that you know easily you have plenty of chops okay uh, and as far as you know how fast you know to to work on or how fast to take your finger control that's really all you need now you can go way past that if, if you want to um, but I think that's just a good general benchmark uh, to shoot for okay all right guys and gals I hope uh, you enjoyed this real quick reboot of this video and I hope uh, hope you guys found it useful, all right? Um, uh, I'm not really, again, posting anything regular. Um, again, if I get inspired to do something, I will. And um, just, again, seeing all the views that that one video got just made me think that I should redo it. So um, I hope this was helpful. So again, just, just move that thumb up and down, okay? All right, guys, take care. Hope you guys are well. All right, talk to you soon. See ya.